Welcome to Cartoon Academy. We're about to embark on a high sea adventure. Let's set sail and see what we shall see. Today, we're going to learn how to draw a pirate as we create a work of art. Let's begin. We start with the left eye, an oval shape, then the pupil, and now an eye patch. We shade that in. An eye patch is part of a pirate's costume. A costume is something that a character wears that helps tell us a little bit about who they are. Now the nose, we come out, around, and back in. Next are the eyebrows. One, and two. From the eyebrow, we draw a line down, and we add the ear. The ear is just a capital letter G. Come down just a little further. Now back up to the top of the head, I'm going to add his hat. Up, sort of a letter C on its side, out and back in. Now we're going to add a little skull on the hat. The skull is a symbol. A symbol is an image that can represent an idea, a team, or even a company. Uh, it might be a symbol for your favorite superhero or favorite baseball team. In this case, we're going to use a skull as that represents a pirate. Round, down, over, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, around, connect. Circle, circle filled in, and then lastly a triangle filled in. Then we just want to color this all in. We want to fill it in completely all around that skull. Just color it in as best as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Next, the feather, a line out, zigzag, zigzag, around, zigzag, zigzag, back in. Now for the mustache. Starting from the base of the nose, come out, curl, and back in, out, curl, and back in. And just sort of connect that line to the mustache. Now for the beard. There are lots of beard pirates. Red beard, blue beard, yellow beard, plaid beard, purple beard. It's your pirate, whatever you want. You can color it the beard any way you like. Around and up, and then some hair. For the mouth, a line over, dash, down, over, connect. We're gonna have one gold tooth. It's just a square, and then we shade in around it. There's a little strap on the eye patch that also forms an eyelid. Now for the body, we're going to start with one of the arms. Line down, over, and up. The other arm comes out for the beard, up, over, and down. Now the sleeves, rectangle, rectangle. Our hands, thumb, one, two, three. For the other hand, he's holding a telescope. So we're going to see the thumb, but then he's gripping it because he's holding. So I'm going to show you a little trick to do that. First we draw the thumb, and then for the grip we just draw one, two, three ovals. Now we're going to lay in the telescope. Line across, down, in, 
past the thumb, up, right to those fingers. Now align from the bottom of the telescope to the sleeve. Rectangle, rectangle, square, and rectangle. Now for the body. Line down and out, up, down, and back up to the beard. Across the body, we're going to have a belt buckle and belt. The belt buckle, we draw a square, another square, and a line. For the belt itself, rectangle, rectangle, and then fill that all in. There we go. Very good. For the legs, a line down, an arch, and a leg down. We're not going to see his boots because he's standing in a boat. We'll draw a line across, connect those legs to the base of the boat, line down, over, and down, down, over, and down, and then we add in some water. planks of the boat, just little pieces of wood, quick lines, and then maybe a few nails here and there. Add in a little more water. Whenever I draw water, it reminds me, what did the ocean say to the pirate? <laughs> Nothing, it just waves. <coughs> now we're going to add a sea monster. Oval, letter C, period and period. Now the eyebrows. One, two. From the base of the eye, come down, letter V upside down, around, and up, dash. Add another nostril here. It's just an upside down letter V and a dash. The mouth is open. Draw a line down, dash, and back up. Now the teeth. Letter V over and over. Just like so. For the inside of the mouth, you just want to color that in. From the brow, down, around, into the water for the neck. Front of the neck, down from the lower jaw, right to where the water's going to go. And then you can add in some more water. For the underbelly, starting from this lower jaw, Start narrow, and then get wider and wider until you reach the water. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six lines across for the underbelly. And then some polka dots. Remember, it's your sea monster, so you could add polka dots, stripes, zigzags, whatever you like. On the back, I'm going to add some spikes. Just down and up the whole way. That's our pirate and sea monster. Be sure to sign your name. Take pride in your work. We are visiting the ocean floor to meet some deep sea denizens. Let's dive in. We're going to start off with an octopus. First, the eyes. One and two. And then we add in the pupils. I like to leave a little bit of white space in there so there's a bit of reflection. Now the eyebrows.
up, down, and in. And then we're going to fill that all in. Next, the mouth. Come around, up, sort of a hot dog shape. Add the tongue. And again, fill in all around. The head and body are one piece. So starting right about here, we're going to come up, around, and out. And we're going to take this line and go right into one of the tentacles. Out, in, and up. Same thing on the other side. Out, in, back in. We have to do this eight times. There's another one back here. And here. Couple in the front. And another. That gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more. We're going to have those tucked back in the back here. Down and in, down and in. That reminds me, how do you make an octopus laugh? It takes 10 tickles. <laughs> now we're going to add the little suction cups on the bottom of the tentacles. Just letter O. It gets a little bit smaller as we taper towards the end. And then you come around, down, connect. Let's do that again. One, two, three, maybe four. Round, down to the end. Now we don't have to do this for all of them, but anyone where we're seeing the underside, we want to add that. That adds a lot of depth and dimension to our character. here and right there. There we go. That's our octopus. Now we're going to add another interesting deep sea creature. I think the creatures that live under the deep sea are so interesting and fascinating. They're so unique. We're going to add one that's called a blob fish. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's kind of a blobby creature. We've got a nose that looks like this. Line across the top, another line, and then just two little dots for eyes. He always looks grumpy. Come around, down, up, and around. Now for the fins. Just letter W, letter W. Then we see a bit of a tail fin back here. That's our blobfish. A couple little bubbles. Next is an anglerfish. Anglerfish is fascinating. It has a little light that dangles over its head. We're going to start with the eyes. The eyes are a little bit different because we have a circle and then another circle inside of it. And then we're going to fill that all in. We're going to color that in. like so. Line down, and then its jaw, which sort of extends out just a little further. Around, and add a fin. Just letter W, and letter W again. Come up, add a fin, up, and we're going to leave a little space right there. They mentioned they have that light that sort of dangles out. 
Just like so. Circle. I only want to show that there's light. Eyebrow. And some sharp teeth. Now we're going to add our octopus's garden. An octopus will collect things and make a little garden around its home. So we're going to add some different things. We're going to add, oh, some rocks. It's up, down, and over. Maybe some smaller rocks. When you color this in, you should make it bright and colorful. Add lots of different colors. Some seaweed coming up from one of the rocks. How about some seashells? Come around, out, in, down, and a couple of lines like that. Good. Some coral. Round and up. Letter U over and over. And then a little bit of texture. A few more pebbles and rocks any sort of random objects you might find under the sea. A little bit of texture to the sand. Texture is how something feels. Let's add just one more character into the background, a jellyfish. It's an upside down letter U that flares out at the base, round and up connect. And then I'm going to put little zigzags on mine. You can put polka dots or stripes, anything you like. It's your jellyfish. Line down, scribble, 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 scribble. If you have room for another one, you can put another one over here if you like. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you think looks nice for your composition or design. That's it. Now use your ink too. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There's something fishy going on under the sea. We're drawing a shark and a few of his friends. Let's draw. We're going to start with the brow above the shark's eye. Come down. In and then just split a line right there. Round and up, and add a pupil. For the other brow, out, up, and same thing. Around and connect. Let's add another pupil right here. Now we're gonna bring a line across the top, and another one across the top. I'm going to add the dorsal fin. Up, point, and down. Another line right like so to add a little bit of depth and dimension. Now we're going to finish back here at the eye. Come out and up to finish off the mouth. Add a dash and a dash. Down, and in. Add a fin, which is just sort of a letter B. Now we're going to bring that around for the body. And we're going to start back up here and bring it down and meet, leaving a little bit of a gap to add in that tail fin. another fin right here, and then just a couple little lines for some shading. Another fin, which is just a letter V, and then the teeth, also letter V. V, letter V, keep it going until it turns into a bunch of little W's all the way up. Good. One, 
two lines on the snout, then gills. One, two, three. We're going to add another character right over here. We're going to draw a seahorse. I'm going to start with a circle and a letter C. Period and period. You know, you'll notice that on almost all my drawings, the eyes look pretty similar. This is called my style. Each artist has their own style, their own technique, their own way, special way of drawing that makes them who they are. Your style is really a combination of all your influences, all the artists you admired, copied, and imitated growing up. Slowly, their style begins to fade, and your style begins to emerge. I had a lot of influences growing up. I was a big fan of Charles M. Schultz and Walt Kelly and Karl Barks. Those were all my favorite artists. And while you don't see a lot of their style in my work, I assure you, their work was a big influence on who I am today. We're going to continue through with the snout. Over, down, up, and around. That little dash in the corner there. Now for the back. Starting halfway up this eye, come down and in, around, curl for the tail, around, back in, and then we come out real far and back in for the belly. From here to here, a line for the underbelly, and a one, two, maybe three lines. Eyebrows. One, two, fill those in. On the back, we're going to draw some small little rectangles sticking up. We're going to do a few of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect those with little arches, like so. There we go. We're going to add one more character down here. We're going to add a crab. We're going to start with the eyes. Oval. Oval. He looks a little bit crabby already. A line down and down, down, and down. Over, connect. Up to a point, round, point, and in. For the mouth, a little bit of a frown. And over, fill that in. Quick little dash for the chin. You know, crabs never share. They're very shellfish. <laughs> now the claws. Line over and down. Up. Around. Zigzag. Out. To a point. Back in. Come down. Same thing on the other side. Our crab is symmetrical. Whatever's on the left is on the right. It's like a mirror image. Down, up, down, and up. Round, and zigzag. And the lower half of the claw. Now the feet, or legs. One, two, Three. One, two, three. Now for a little bit of the environment or ground surface. We've got the sand at the bottom. I'm leaving a few gaps. Maybe we'll add some seaweed or kelp. Put a little bit of coral over here.
and then a little bit of texture to that. Just little dots. We get another little piece of coral over here. It can be any shape, it's just sort of a blob shape to it. Very easy. And a sponge over here. Looks sort of like a rock, but then we're going to add some little holes in that, like so. There we go. That is our scene. Be sure to sign your name. Take pride in your work. Thanks so much for joining us under the sea. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.